you guys have been seeing this new 2D nail art trend going around, but today I'm gonna show you guys how to get it done. First, you wanna start layering your first color, which is gonna be your base color. And the colors that you use um, has to be contrasting. So right here, I'm using a Barbie pink, and the other pink that I'm gonna use, you'll notice that it's a tad bit darker. So now for the second part of the, of the design, you want to go ahead and take a black gel paint. Black gel polish works fine, but gel paint is actually better due to the consistency. So I'm going to go ahead with my black gel paint and I'm going to go in and outline um, the nail. So going from around the cuticle area, you don't want it to hit the cuticle, but just going around the perimeter of the nail with the black. that I do this outline to all 10 nails in black. So I'm unsure if I bumped my client's nails or she bumped it while putting it in the light, but either way, we had a little accident there. Um, we got some of the pink polish on her skin or her cuticle area, but not to worry, we're gonna remove that towards the end. Now notice on my palette that I have two different color pinks. So this is where my contrast is going to come in. So I'm going in with my contrast color and I'm starting about middle of the nail um, at the top of the nail and I'm gonna come down the side of the nail. Either side you choose, just don't do both sides with your contrasting color. You're gonna go in and you're gonna make a slight, a slanted line coming down the side of the nail just before you touch the black um, outline but just make sure as you're coming down that that part of the line is very thin and i'm gonna go over it again and do all 10 nails with the contrasting color and this is really going to it's what's going to make the 2d nail art pop i'm gonna go ahead and speed these parts up a bit because i'm just showing you guys basically me outlining all 10 nails now that I have down both pinks, I have my black outline, I'm gonna go in with my white and I'm gonna do a another slanted line, but this time it's not gonna be touching the black or even close to it. So we're gonna have a little space there. And you wanna make a line coming straight down, but at the top of that line towards the cuticle area, that top part of the line is going to have a slight, a slight curve. Um, and also, while you're applying the white line, you want to make sure that the white line does not come all the way down as much as the pink line on the opposite side did, because you want to have space to add your little dot. So after I have down my white line, I'm going to go ahead and add the little dot just below it to all 10 nails. So now I'm gonna be adding my last few touches to this design. I'm gonna go in with my black gel paint again, and I'm just gonna add some lines, very small lines around the perimeter of the nail, and these lines are gonna give this 2D nail art um, that pop that it needs. It's gonna give it the definition that it needs, and it's gonna give it that pop art look. So on all 10 fingers, as you can see, I'm adding these slight little lines. These little streaks that I'm putting down are all going to be different per finger. So this one is going diagonally, just a little streak in the middle of the nail that won't go all the way across. And the vertical lines that I do are actually going to be on the side um, of the nail where the contrasting pink is laying. So not on the side where the white is. Some of these lines that I'm putting down are gonna look like a backwards L, um, capital L. Some of them are just gonna be simple streaks coming down the nail vertically, and some of them are gonna be going across the free edge um, diagonally, and you'll see it like that. All the lines are a little bit different. So now that I'm done with all my lines and my nail art, I'm gonna go in with my favorite, one of my favorite top coats, the Koopa Gelfinity top coat, and I'm gonna add that to all 10 nails. And you wanna make sure you cap your free edge as well. For those of you who don't know what I mean by capping the free edge is basically I want the gel top coat to um, go over the edge of the nail. That way we don't have any chipping and stuff like that and our polish will last a little bit longer. So remember 
remember I explained to you guys that I had a little accident with the polish in the beginning of the video? Okay, so this is how I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. I added a little bit of cuticle oil to my client's skin and I rubbed it in because this helps to like lift up the polish a little bit or it's easier to um, glide off of her skin. So I'm gonna go in with my cuticle nipper and just use the edge of it and very gently and very lightly, I'm gonna go ahead and just like peel that back. And I always make sure I ask my client if she's okay, just to be sure that I'm not causing any causing her any pain. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite cuticle oil, which is cuticle oil made by Moi. And this scent is Jasmine Rose. It is, not only does it smell good, it's super absorbent, and it's just all around amazing for your skin. Like clients rave about my cuticle oil. So I'm gonna add just a little drop to all 10 nails and I'm going to massage that into her skin before we take pictures and videos. And we are all done. I hope you guys like the outcome just as much as I did because this turned out beautifully.